The next morning, we headed northwest towards Mackinac City in search of a place that would make us all feel like kids again. And you know us, we totally found it. If you like Michigan history, nature, and adventure, you're watching the right TV show. And that's because we're at the historic Mill Creek Discovery Park, a great family place where you can learn about Michigan's past, its wildlife, and a whole lot more. Jeff Dykehouse is the curator of natural history, which actually is just a fancy way of saying my new best friend for the day. How long has this park been here? It's opened up in 1984, so about 30 years now, almost 30 years. I'm sorry, it's my first time here. Well, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> glad you finally got here. Now, who owns this park? It's part of the Mackinac State Historic Parks. So it's one of the, the four parks that make up the Mackinac State Historic Parks, including Mackinac State Park and Colonial Michelin Mackinac, the old Mackinac Point Lighthouse in Mackinac City. And it's a historical experience. It, well, it's a whole bunch of experiences, but tell me about the historic part, like the, the sawmill. Yeah, when the park was opened up 30 years ago, the major attraction was and still is the sawmill, the water-powered sawmill, which is a reconstruction water-powered sawmill, we think very similar to the one that was here over 200 years ago. That dates back to the 1700s? Yeah, about 1780s to 1790s when the first one was built. And explain how it works. Yeah, I mean, how did, what was the technology like back yeah, then? Yeah, the original mill lasted for about 50 years, but before the mill was built, they had to cut lumber using a two-man pit saw. And then when the sawmill was built, that was a new technology of 200 years ago to provide lots of lumber that was needed on Mackinac Island during a, a, a building boom that took place about that time. Now, this park is how many acres? It's, it looks huge. It, it, we have about 525 acres of property. Right. And it's, it's mostly woods, you know, except for the historic area here. And we have about three and a half miles of nature trails. Next, Jeff took me to a place that would get me even higher on Michigan. It's part observation tower, part climbing wall, part scenic overlook, and a completely incredible experience. Okay, Jeff, how many stairs did we just climb up here? We, I think about 75 stairs, not I think. Bad. That's not bad. Yeah. This tower is incredible. How high are we? We're, we're about 50 feet off the ground, but that puts us about 150 feet above Lake Huron. So we are up very high. This is a gazillion dollar view. On a day like today, you can see the Upper Peninsula. The bridge is how many miles from here? About eight miles. And the Mac Mackinac Island, you can see the Grand Hotel. You can see the front porch. It's a really a spectacular view. And look at the different colors of the water. Amazing. And this is all part of the park? It's all part of the park. This should be your office. It should be my office. I'm, I'm open for that option. Okay, I'll put a, I'll put a, where's the suggestion box? <laughs> I'll fill it out for you, just sign it so it, they know it doesn't come from me. <laughs> and now on to what really brought us here in the first place. If you're a thrill seeker and adventure hunter like me, you'll absolutely love this. So the adventure tour is a different part of the park? It's, it's a, a nature hike in the park that allows us to look at the different layers of the forest. So rather than simply talk about the plants and animals we see along the ground, we're gonna get up in the trees and talk about the difference between living up in the canopy versus the understory of the forest floor. The tree canopy walk is something I'd heard about and was really excited to try. I can't even begin to tell you how cool it is walking this high off the forest floor. So how high off the forest floor are we? We're about 45 feet above the forest floor and the stream below us. And how long is this, uh, this suspension bridge? This bridge is about 150 feet long, I think. This is outstanding. Now, like you said, now you know what it's like to be an eagle, to be a squirrel. That's right. To live, to actually live in the trees. That's right. Up here, everything's moving all the time, and you have to kind of pay attention where you're stepping, so you don't want to make that big tumble to the forest floor. And I love how you're over this little river that runs into the, the pond. It's a great view. You're surrounded by the trees, but you have running water down below you. This is absolutely outstanding. Outstanding. As part of the adventure tour, you also get to walk along beautiful forest pathways with a guide who shares vast amounts of information about this incredible natural landscape. And that's exactly what Jeff was doing, when suddenly, there it was. What I'd really been waiting for, the chance to zip line through the trees like an eagle in flight over a cool mountain stream, to feel free and unencumbered, and express myself in a very noble and majestic way. Thanks, Jeff. You're welcome. Because as usual, this will be easy. <laughs> but you know me. It didn't quite go that way. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> Mommy! Oh. So spend a day at the historic Mill Creek Adventure Park, and you'll find yourself learning, laughing, and launching yourself into the sky like the bird of your choice. Just do yourself a favor. Don't pick chicken like oh. I did. That was incredible. You really need to get up here and try and do this for yourself. Hold on a second. Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. No, I'm okay. I shouldn't have called, I'm sorry. I'm fine. Honestly, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I'll be home tomorrow. <laughs>